We're excited to wrap up our series on trial size marketing. Um, I hope that you've all participated and watched the first three sessions. They were amazing. Um, they are recorded and available for replay on YouTube. So, oh, thanks, Alice. We're excited to share tonight. We've been working hard. I was like, we put a lot of time into what to cover tonight because we really wanted to kind of complement what you've already learned so far and maybe give you a little bit of a different approach. Um, Malaysia, hi, Samantha. So you all are 12 hours, so it's morning for you, right? I think it's like eight in the morning. Ooh, Wheat Ridge, Colorado. That's one state I haven't been to, Patricia, is Colorado somehow. <laughs> I'll get there though, for sure. I see Toby's on, San Francisco Bay. And yeah. welcome to all of our Facebook friends. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Lisa and I are pretty excited to share what we have tonight and that's success with trial size marketing. So before we get started, I'm really curious on who has tried needle-free serum? If you can put a one in the comments, we would love to hear from you mm -hmm. and we'd love to interact with you. So feel free to comment both on Zoom and Facebook during this broadcast. And Definitely. we will be sure to answer any questions you have. And so Toby says one, I love seeing that. Put a one in the comments if you have tried needle-free serum. Love all these ones. So I think that, you know, that's obviously a good place to start is to try a product yourself right before um, giving someone else a sample because we always want to have a little more confidence about what our personal experience has been so we can relate when, you know, it comes to the product, the texture, how to use it and what the results um, have been for you. And you can share that. And obviously that's going to help accelerate um, the excitement when you're uh you know, positioning it for other people to try. So really our main goals for tonight is to talk about how you can attract new customers, right? We always want to add new customers, but also we don't want to forget about the customers that we have. So we're going to talk about how you can, what we call build share of customer by offering your existing customer base an additional product or service. Um, in doing that, we're going to be adding possibilities as well. So when we expand our network and we're asking for referrals, not only does that help our retail business, but it puts more people in the funnel for us to be able to ask to evaluate our business. So we're going to um, chat more about that as we go. And most importantly, as we know, um, the name of the game is duplication because we'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of our own, right? So we are better together for sure. And um, we're excited to roll through this with you. So as Lee mentioned, you know, I think a lot of you that are sharing, I love how Sarah added, yes, and love it. Um, so needle-free fan there. So um, we thought we'd just start with like why the product is such a great product. And I know it's actually one of Lee's favorites. So I'm going to let her chime in here. Yeah, I definitely cannot live without it. In fact, I've tried and it has <laughs> come to my attention that no, I cannot live without this product. So for those of you that said that you've tried the product, now I would like you to comment with what you love about the product. What are maybe some of the things that you've noticed and what do you love about it? Because I know a lot of you are like one and I love it and I'd love to hear that. But why needle free? Needle free is the perfect product for trial size marketing because it provides an instant lift. Now I can tell you from experience that it really depends on the person, their skin, um, numerous different factors but most of the time they are going to see an immediate instant lift. Mm -hmm. So this lightweight concentrated serum gives skin an instantly tightened look while hydrating and soothing sensitive complexion. So oftentimes when my clients start to use it, they're like, is it strange that my skin is getting softer or it feels, you know, mm -hmm. it looks more radiant? Yes, absolutely. It also helps reduce the appearance of signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles. So those of you that have that, this is the product for you. Mm -hmm. So your customer will see these great results upon application and will be ordering a bottle in no time, right? And that is really the goal with our trial size marketing. 
Now here are just some bullet points and this is copied right from the website. So um, if you're always looking like what to say, this is a great place to look and you can go to motivescosmetics.com, illuminate.com or even shop.com. But it gives you the look of an instant lift without the needles and the expense. It's a gentle, lightweight, concentrated serum which gives that tightening effect while hydrating and soothing sensitive complexions. So for those customers that are like, well, my skin is sensitive, you know, just because it is a very strong active ingredients in this product, it's still great for sensitive skin. In fact, it's very soothing to the skin, but there's more. Needle-free serum also improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, revealing softer, firming, firmer looking supple skin. So give your beauty routine a boost. And here's just some points that you can um, get to know if you want. But like, honestly, I find that the more you use the product and the more that you can talk about it, the more you can share with them what you love about it. So don't get stuck on the dot where you have to like memorize anything right. or right. be an expert on the product. Because at the end of the day, people really like to hear your experience, right? They want to know mm -hmm. why you like it. Exactly. And by the way, all of that's on the website. So all those benefits, if you want to review them, that's, that's where you can find them. Mm -hmm. Now, here are some of the active ingredients. And again, you don't have to go and, you know, study up on these ingredients. All I want you guys to pay attention to is if somebody asks you, well, what makes it do these things? Here are some of these active ingredients in neodermal. What I want you to kind of look at is where it says it helps the skin look firmer and more supple. The Liftonin Express gives it that tightening effect, right? And it, it's going to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for a smoother looking complexion. The, the xantheline is what gives uh, its unique properties of this extract help soothe the skin while also temporarily reducing the appearance of wrinkles for a smoother looking skin. And then it has the Sera fluid which is going to help moisturize the skin for a smoother and softer looking complexion. Now, if you have someone that's an ingredient junkie, they can look up these particular active ingredients and learn more about it. But again, most people are just gonna wanna know what is it going to do to me? What's it going to do to my skin and why should I try this product? So just kind of knowing those things, you can talk in themes and let them know what this product does. And then of course we have our needle free serum trial, trial size marketing packs and you can get a pack of 10 from unfranchised.com and you get 30 BV with this. So mm -hmm. I actually always carry mine and we'll go through this, but I always have these with me, right? And what's nice about it is it's beautifully put together. It's great at telling about the product. It actually has the active ingredients. It has some before and after pictures. So when in doubt, all you have to do is open this up mm -hmm. and you can read right off of these little mailers, but they're absolutely beautifully done. And when you get them, they're already, you know, they're just already ready for you to give. I love that. Yeah. And so you can see based on the product information, why it was such a natural choice to have it in trial size marketing, because based on the ingredients, um, you're going to, or you can expect to experience pretty immediate results as far as maybe, you know, um, smoothing out your complexion and added hydration, and it just feels good, right? So people notice a difference within one use, but also there's a long-term benefit. So it's sort of like that one-two punch with this product. There's many skincare products that you have to use all the time for a long time to get a result. There's some products that just only offer an, like a quick fix, um, but this actually does both. And I think that's why it's such a powerful formula and something that is um, you know, a fan favorite for sure. And so, you know, to encourage you to get these samples in the hands of your friends and your family and your customers, and, you know, this time of year is a great time because we are going to be seeing a lot of people, right? So like Lee said, you always want to be prepared. I have these actually a little basket on my 
chair here in my office because a lot of times when I'm like getting off of my desk and going out the door, my front door is like right here. I'll grab one, put it in my bag and I'm, I'm just always ready, right? Because you don't ever know who you're gonna see. Um, so that's one way to be prepared. We're gonna talk about some other ways to be prepared, but know that if you are prepared and you hand it to someone, you can expect 92% of those people to actually try the sample. So that's encouraging. And I hope that that like inspires you to go and buy, if you've not bought a 10 pack, go and buy one. And if you've already bought one, maybe buy another one, right? Because over half of the people who try the sample are going to purchase the product. 42% of people actually switch their brand preference based on a product sample. So bigger picture, right? Like they now have like a, a brand awareness or recognition or loyalty where they had a good experience with one product and they want to try more. 56% like product samples because they're actually looking for alternatives. Don't assume that, you know, like I, I mean, a lot of women who looking at them, I might think, oh my gosh, they have a great regimen. Their skin's so beautiful. Like they know what they're doing. They've got it going on. Like they're not going to be interested in what I'm offering. Um, but you never know until you ask. And so in a conversation, I might just say something like, you know, well, what are you currently using? Your skin's so beautiful. Like it must be working for you. You know, are you happy with it? And I've had many people say to me, well, you know, it's okay. I just buy it because that's what the department store recommended 10 years ago. And they haven't had a new approach since then. Um, so I guess my, my point is don't make assumptions, always be open to sharing and talking with new people. 77% say receiving a sample would motivate them to try another product from that brand. So again, really kind of like building into that loyalty and um, awareness. And really, that's what we want, right? As customer managers and, and unfranchised owners who are focusing on one-to-one -one marketing, we want to create relationships with people where we can add or offer additional solutions um, with different products and services, right? I thought this was really interesting. In the same article, it went on to say that when people have an experience at a live event, when they sample a product at a live event, it will generate more customers and sales than just giving it to them and not having them try it with you and have that experience. So now we're looking at 81% of consumers are going to you can expect them to, I'm trying to say all the right things legally here. Um, uh, they're more likely, or you could expect them to purchase a product if they had the opportunity to try it first. Um, and so again, we went from that 53% of people who on average are going to purchase the product based on trying it to 81% if you're matching that product with that experience. And isn't that our entire goal, like our entire existence as uh, unfranchised owners that specialize in one-to-one -one marketing, right? So those statistics yeah. are awesome. I mean, drop a two in the comments if you guys are like, wow, that's more than I thought. I love those statistics. Um, I think that's very eye-opening for sure. Yeah. I thought so. That's why, like, I don't know. Every time I hear something, I, I'll go research it. I'm like, well, I don't really know if I'm buying that. I'm actually going to research myself and find out, like, what what are the, the, the reality of what I can learn to expect? Because I'm a big numbers person, and I like to plan, and I like to create action plans. And so the reason I wanted to share that with you tonight is that I hope that really does make you feel confident about purchasing these 10 packs, not just once, but on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that. Well, and I do want to add too that the actual packet contains the serum that's in the full size bottle. So yes. it's not a different formula. It's the exact same bottle. So mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's ever tried samples from a different company or from someone else. And you're like, oh my gosh, I saw really great, you know, maybe results with the sample, but not so much when you bought the big size of it. Yeah. But just know that we put in our samples the exact same formula in our full size bottle. So you're getting the same thing. So it's a really great way for them to try it. Such a great point because I've had a lot of people say that to me actually. And, and you all, you may have, some of you watching may have actually had that experience personally. So same formula, you can expect the same great results. 
Um, a lot of quality control goes into that process. Um, so we mentioned, you know, it comes ready to go basically. And the big point that we want to make is to put your information, like it's blank on the back for a reason. So um, you can, you know, Lee was like, do people, isn't it like, doesn't everyone have little labels and print, print out their own labels on these stickers? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's probably maybe more you, but most people hopefully do. Um, so you may or may not be a label making um queen like Lee. Um, but listen, you can go on partner stores on shop.com. There's so many vendors that you can order them if you don't have them. And when we say a label, we want you to have your name, your contact information, whether you want to have your phone number or your email, certainly have your website on there. Um, you want to make sure that that is all ready to rock. So if you don't have a label or whatever, you could even just use a, a business card and you could staple that um, as a quick fix. Um, but the important thing is that they can order it and get in touch with you if they love the product, because you just never know who's going to end up with one, right? Like I'll yeah. often say like, here's one for you. And then I'll just give you an extra one for a friend because, you know, it's not uncommon for us to want to share things with people. Um, so maybe even just a return address label, if you have those, you can stick that on there with your business card, whatever works. But also, you can pop this sucker in the mail as it is. You don't need to put it in any type of packaging. So make sure that you're also um, cognizant of that and you can put the mailing address. Yeah, and you know, Hobie has a really good point too. You can even print a QR code on the label. There's so many different things you can do. But like Lisa said, you never know if they're going to lose touch with you or give this away. You always want everybody to be able to find you. Now let's talk a little bit about um, distributing these. So what I want you guys to do is think about your current customers that you have. You know, maybe start to make a list of those customers. Like I have customers that consistently order from me throughout the year. And this is the time of year that I like to gift them different things and just show my appreciation for them supporting my small business throughout the year. So prioritize those preferred customers and consider gifting one of these for supporting your business. I also love to give gifts with purchase. In fact, I like to always expose them to new products that they haven't tried yet. So even for my health and nutrition products, they haven't tried any skincare yet. This is the perfect thing to expose them to with their order. Um, maybe they're just ordering some TLS or some fixed products, you know, it doesn't matter. Always think about how you can, you know, expose them to some of our other products. Mm -hmm. How about gifting as a thank you for taking the custom skin quiz? Our custom skin quiz was just relaunched around international convention. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to reach out to people and invite them to take that quiz at motivescosmetics.com and then thank them, say, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much for helping me by, you know, taking this quiz and letting me know what you think. I have this free gift for you. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect thing for that as well. And quick little plug on the 13th, we're going to be doing a Zoom talking about that skin quiz. So if you're not familiar with that, you can um, join us for that and learn not only about that, but some of the other quizzes available with our company. It's incredible. And right now, you know, people are starting to see friends and family with the holidays. Be prepared to have them handy at all times. I actually have them in my purse. So I have needle free. I have the um, daily essentials. I have the digestive enzymes. Like I always have these because you never know in conversation what's going to come up. So and true. a lot of times people will say, wow, your skin looks amazing. Wow. You don't look as old as you are. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, do you want me to let you in on my little secret? And everybody yes. wants to know the secret, right? I'm like, okay, are you ready for this? And, you know, I have something that you can try and I've been using this religiously, you know, and you can just tell them your experience mm -hmm. and listen, have fun with it. Like, you know, recently I heard one of my business partners, who's a chiropractor say this, and I was like, that's so good. He said, I take what I do very seriously, but I don't take myself too seriously. And I just love that because I think, you know, I'm very um, proud to be an unfranchise owner and I'm, 
really try to be professional with everything that I do. And I, I think that I am, but at the same time, like you want to have fun and be relatable. Right. Um, and you want people to want to be around you and you don't want to be like so conscious of doing everything perfectly or saying the exact right thing that you're like, you know, handicapping yourself from doing anything. Um, so with, you know, recently I just went out to dinner with some women for a girl scout thing for my daughter. Anyway. Um, everyone's like eating food they shouldn't be eating at dinner. And I had the digestive enzymes because someone was complaining about what they were, you know, their stomach was being upset and they couldn't really eat anything lately. And their husband's like trying to get them to eat better or whatever. Anyway, I digress. But the point is I was prepared. Right. And then with the needle free, like, wouldn't it be fun if you're just at a holiday party and, and people are talking and, and the opportunity comes up for you to talk about needle free, just open a packet up and put it on and like, take a little picture and be like, all right, let's like revisit this face in 10 minutes and see if we notice any difference. Um, so just, again, just be prepared, but also just have fun and be engaging and be interested and offer solutions. Um, we all know that you can order, you can add, or maybe we don't all know, that's why we're seeing it, but you can add one of these sample packs to an order when you're drop shipping from an unfranchise. So you have the opportunity to do that. So I don't know if we're missing anything. Feel free to add in the chat if you have any great ideas on how you have been showcasing or sharing or distributing these trial size marketing packs to people. So I love um, Karen. Karen said that she keeps all of her samples in a pouch and then she takes the pouch everywhere, even when she switches purses. So you have them all together in like a little bag. You can just like transfer them to your computer bag or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I just usually have a couple of each on hand and then I just refill it as I go out. But what I want to like leave with you guys is like, if you don't have them, you can't give them out. Right. Yeah. So grab a pack of each and just have them. And then as they're getting down, you can replenish them. Um, because like the statistics we saw, if they try the sample, you know, 50% are going to buy it. So I love those statistics, by the way. Yeah. Look at Georgie putting it in her golf bag. There you go. Perfect. Um, yeah. See, I love that. Yeah. But, I, mean, you know, I brought this up today with Lisa because they're perfect for travel because yeah. the still free does not come in a, you know, this is the only way you can get it in a smaller size. Mm -hmm. So if you know that somebody is going to be traveling for the holidays, perfect time to, you know, let them try the sample. Say, you know what, take this with you. It's easy to travel with the packets, you know, hold a couple um, applications in it and you can, it'll give you a good, it'll be a good chance for you to try it. Mm -hmm. What about gift baskets? Like I'm a huge gift basket. Like I love to give, especially around the holidays. So you can throw this in with, um, you know, any of our other products right now, we still have our motives, mystery bags. You can maybe put it in with that. We have some other discounted products on unfranchised. You can make a little basket, put, you know, put it in there it also happens to be perfect size for a stocking stuffer as well. So don't forget about that. And, um, you know, I was talking to Lisa today and I have a client that has been religiously using the needle free for, I would say about three years. And every time she orders it, she thanks me for introducing it to her. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't thank you enough because my skin has just changed so much. And she's in her seventies. So, you know, honestly, these products are amazing as you all know. So it's our job to share it with everybody else so they can experience it as well. It's so true. And, you know, an obvious thing that we could talk about too, is if you are an industry professional, you could gift this to every client that's coming in, right. And walking out the door. So we have a lot of people that do that, but of course we wanted the, fo the focus to be on just an average person. But, um, if you do own a traditional business specifically in the beauty industry, that's a no brainer, right? So just kind of handing that out as like a little Christmas gift, like, Hey, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite things. And again, just having all the information on here ready to go so that no matter who gets it, they know how to order. So we're going to roll into just a couple examples of some social media posts. Um, so you could take a screenshot of these. You can duplicate it. I recommend that you tweak it a little bit to make it sound more like it's coming from you. But um, I know we all feel like scripts are kind of helpful, right? So um, 
The first one is one I created. I'm a little longer winded sometimes, Lee, as one that's a little shorter and to the point. Um, but I kind of wanted to plan to see about being a product broker. So um, a post that I made was just like, you know, hey, friends, as you may or may not know, I'm partnered with a product brokerage company that's always on the grow, working to create best in class products. What that means for my clients is that I'm here to service you and save you time and money. We don't use any mainstream media, rather our company has people like myself that go direct to you, the consumer, which now there's an acronym for that, right? DTC, but we've been doing that for 30 years. And that gives us the ability to off offer the creme de la creme of product at a more affordable price. So having said all that, I need your help. I'm looking for five people, male or female, who want, and then those are the bullet points from the website, firmer skin, reduce appearance of wrinkles, quick tightening effect, calm and soothe the skin and to hydrate and then let them know that you have a, a free gift for the first five people. So we're saying five because we want to create a sense of urgency. If you want to say 10, you could say 10, you know, however, you know, you could put that 30 faces in 30 days spin on it as well if you wanted to and talk about I'm launching a campaign for myself. You could use some of this verbiage if that's helpful, but talk about how you, you're, you know, in a challenge or you're challenging yourself to, um, reach out to 30 new people who you don't have a relationship with, with yet and have them test market a new product. Um, Cause to you, it could be a new product. It doesn't matter that we've had this X amount of years, right? Um, or certainly what we're talking about, you can plug and play with other trial size. And what I wanna point out is that post is perfect for creating interest because nowhere do you say that it's, you know, Lumiere to be needle-free serum. You want to kind of keep them intrigued where they're going to reach out to you and be like, okay, I need more information on that. You know, whether it's a comment, but even if someone comments on that post, I'm going to be direct messaging them. And then I'm going to turn that conversation into a private conversation because you don't really want to give out too much information on the post. Otherwise it just, you want to have like the fear of missing out, right? Like keep them kind of guessing. So here's an example of a post that I did um, and this was actually a very successful post. All the people that wanted information were all new customers, which was absolutely awesome. So it was real simple. People always ask me what I use on my skin. And so I'm sending out free samples of one of my favorite products that I use every day. I only have a few more left if you want. And again, I just took these bullet points, firmer lookers, looking skin to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, a quick tightening effect for top lip looking skin to help calm and soothe sensitive skin to hydrate their skin so it looks smoother and more supple right from the website so that you know that you know you can say those things mm -hmm. message me before they are gone and I was excited when people are like okay I need to know what this is mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and I turned that into a direct message conversation I grabbed their info because they weren't customers yet and we'll go through you know what to do with it at that point but don't you think if you're excited about something, other people are going to be right. excited and they're going to be more apt to try it. So mm -hmm. use your excitement. And this is all like very honest because it's so true. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one product that I use consistently every single day that I can't live without. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I know, Lee, when you first posted this, I saw other people copying and pasting, which is exactly what we want you to do. Um, you don't need to put in the comments, I'm stealing this or thank no, you, thank I'm going to use this. Um, I know you mean well, but that comes off as weird, right? So we're always trying to appeal to customers and prospects. And so we want to help each other in the field. That's why we're sharing with you. And we welcome you to copy anything that we ever post. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but I know that when um, people started doing that in the first round, when you first posted this, and I personally know of like five or six people who um, got incredible results too, like within a couple hours, they had like 10 people that wanted to try the product. Um, so give it a go. You have nothing to lose, right? Um, yeah. And I have to point out too, that that picture is not a picture I took. It, those are photos that we give you guys to use. So all the photos that we use actually in this presentation are available to you. 
Um, yeah. If you are already a member of our Motives um, Skincare Pro Partners official Facebook group, I have an album devoted just to, you know, the needle free trial size marketing. Mm -hmm. So if you're kind of wondering where to, to find these photos, they're right there. So you don't even have to be like a photographer and try to take right. your own photos. Right. But I will tell you that people do like to also see photos of yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't, you know, started using the serum yet, what I encourage you to do is take a before picture with no makeup on or anything. I know sometimes people are really nervous about doing that, but I'm telling you, like people can relate to that. Use it consistently for 28 days. It's called, and we'll talk about our 28 days of skin challenge and then take another picture. Mm -hmm. People love to see those before and after yeah. pictures and they love to see real people that they know, right? Mm -hmm. so it's going to be like, wow, right? Yeah. I try that. That, so that is very effective. And just keep the before and afters in the same lighting, yeah. preferably like same time of day, same spot in your house. Um, so that they're as kind of comparable as possible. Um, but do that and you, you don't necessarily have to share it, or maybe you just take a picture of a certain spot. Like you see in the actual packet itself, it's not like someone's entire face. So if you feel better just doing your yeah. forehead or your eye or something, you can do that. Share those pictures as well. So if you, you know, are a little shy to do that for sure. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about follow-up a little bit. So yes, we have an amazing um, UF marketing app. And I know a few of you in the comments are saying that's why that marketing app is so powerful. So here's the thing, like even if you're handing them out personally, you can actually put in the app that you handed it out mm -hmm. and that will help you start that follow-up process. However, I don't want you guys to just think that that's going to do the follow-up for you. What it's really great at is reminding you to actually follow up with them as well. And all from all of those new people that I, you know, had, I actually put their information in right away as a preferred customer, right? Because they weren't a preferred customer yet. Then I actually um, sent them a voice memo in, a, in through the the UF marketing app, you can actually record a, a video and send it that way, or you can send a voice memo through text or Facebook messenger. There's so many different ways, but what I want you guys to do is make sure that you make it one-to-one -one and personally start communicating with them right off the bat, mm -hmm. because then you're already forming that relationship, especially for those new people that don't really know you yet, right? Yeah. So I know we've got a lot of different videos that talk about how to use the app. So we're not going to go in like depth on how to use the app because there's so many resources out there. But the more you use the app, the easier it's going to be. So if you haven't really dug into the app yet, I, that's kind of your homework assignment is yeah. start using it because when I started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is reminding me like, hey, text, text your client. Here's mm -hmm. a couple different examples of what you can text or you can make it your own. But that reminder really helped me follow up with them. Yeah, I think the point that I always like to make is that it's a tool and it's supplementing the process. It's not replacing your relationship, right? Um, I just think that that's so important because really that's what makes our company so different. Yes, we have the best products out there. We're a product broker. We wouldn't have products if they weren't best in class. Um, but really what people are drawn to and why they stick around is for that one-to-one -one marketing. So um, I hope that that makes a lot of sense. So you, we love the app. Like we're big proponents of it. We're very active with it. But like Lee said, really the benefit is that you're going to get updates alerting you to follow up, you know, it'll say like, Hey, they should have it by now. Hey, they watched this video. And so whenever you're getting any type of communication, I take that as a si signal to then personally reach out to them because like, remember, I mean that 92% of people will try yeah. it, <laughs> buy it, but what we forgot to mention, and I know that you do the same thing. If you are handing this out in person, of course, the first thing you're going to do is get their commitment to trying it, right? Because you're yeah. saying, hey, if I give you this sample, do you promise me that you'll try it right away? 
and you hold on to it until they hold on to it and give their commitment by shaking their head. And I'll even shake my head. Like, hey, if I give you this, do you promise that you're gonna use it? And they have their hand on it. They're like, yes. Just getting that commitment is yeah. already going to increase your percentage of them trying it, right? Mm -hmm. So I love doing that. Of course, even if I'm gonna put it in there when I do it from the back office, I'm gonna let them know, hey, I want you to know I threw something in with your order. I really think you're going to like it. Do you promise me that you'll try it? Because I'm telling you, I think you're really going to love it. And then they're already excited because they're like, Ooh, I wonder what it is. I'm getting something in my, you know, in my order. Like what, what is that? So I like to also let them know to what to expect. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that you can do is suggest that they take a before picture. Now, you're not asking them to like really post it on social media. I mean, if they want, they can. That's great. But it's really just for their own reference, because how many times are you using a product and you're like, oh, my gosh, I wish I would have taken a before picture. Or sometimes it's like such a gradual you know, they notice gradually what's going on. Sometimes referencing back to that picture is really powerful for them. Mm -hmm. You can also invite them to do their own 28 days of skin challenge. This is just an ongoing challenge that we have. And the whole thought behind it is if you consistently use skincare for 28 days, consistently every single day, it not only creates the habit of using it, but most people are going to see incredible results in 28 days. Plus your skin regenerates every 28 days. So 28 days, if we can all commit to that and tell our customers about it, it gets them excited as well. Now know that the UF marketing app does have an automated sequence of information, but like Lisa said, it notifies you as to when you should be following up because we are in business of one-to-one -one marketing. So be prideful of this process. Mm -hmm. And it does email them, but I always assume too that they may not get the email. Right. They, might, if, they might get so many emails right now. So I know that if I text them, they're going to read it pretty quick. And mm -hmm. almost every time I text people, I'm so amazed at, they usually respond right away. Yeah. Or you can see that they watched the video right away or that they open the link right away. So when you use that marketing app, it's going to report all of that back to you. So then you can say, oh my gosh, wasn't that video incredible? Aren't you excited? And just, you know, keep that conversation going. You can also invite them to take the custom skin quiz. We actually have that on the marketing app as well, that you can share a link to the custom skin quiz. It'll alert you when they open it. If they finish the quiz, you'll get an email from the company letting you know that they took a quiz. You can see that they took the quiz and you can see their results on what it recommended for them. So that's another great way to follow up with them. And of course, you can always offer a discount as an incentive to purchase the needle free or maybe some of the other products that the skin, the quiz recommended them. Just say, you know what? Um, because I really appreciate you using the sample and also taking the custom skin quiz, I'm going to offer you, you know, whatever discount 10% that if you want to offer that you can. And sometimes that helps you close the sale as well. I love that. Yeah, because really, yes, this product's amazing, but it's going to produce even better results if you're pairing it with at least that value system of cleanse, tone, moisturize, right? That three piece essential system. And we have, you know, different lines. Obviously we love Lumiere to be, um, but so encouraging them to kind of start, you know, yes, try the needle free, but also if you really want to accelerate your results, then get really consistent with at least that three-step process and adding the needle free in it, in which case you'd cleanse tone, then use needle free, let it dry, then moisturize, right? Um, so we're just giving lots of different ideas. We know the attendees tonight, some of you already have done quite a bit of this. So hopefully you're getting like a little extra uh, tidbit or something that you can incorporate. And some of you may be brand new. So hopefully we're not overwhelming you, but so much of this, like just 
you know, ties in together so nicely. Um, and of course, one thing we always want to be conscious of is asking for referrals. And you can very simply just tell people, you know, listen, my business is, if, if someone's so excited, like Lee has that customer who's like thanking her every time she orders the product, thank you for introducing it to me. That's a, if someone's so happy, they are happy to give you results, but, or excuse me, happy to give you referrals because of their results. Um, and so, right. but they may not naturally think to do that. Maybe they don't know that that helps your business. You know, I think we assume things sometimes. So, um, just make, be very cognizant of doing that, you know, ask. So if they're like, so excited, be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you're so happy and you're seeing great benefits. Um, I had a feeling you would, I did too. Um, you know, do you know anyone else? Does anyone come to mind that you think would love to try the product too? Because I'm always looking to add, you know, more customers to my business. Everything that I do is, you know, really built on word of mouth. I don't do any mainstream media or advertising. So I'm so grateful anytime any of my customers give me a referral. And if you want to incentivize them for doing that and give them a discount or give them a gift with purchase, you know, feel free to do that. But we talked, you know, about the app and how that there, excuse me, there is an automated process for that. Um, so we just wanted to give you some sort of screenshots on what you can expect to see and use and leverage and share in there. So these are just some examples of, you know, the things that you can drip out to people. Um, obviously, the sample, it's themselves. And then we have um, the videos. So there's actually two different videos that are already loaded in the UF marketing app. One of them kind of just talks about the product and, and letting them know like, hey, you know, be on the lookout for that little gift in your mailbox in the next week or so. So kind of giving them a heads up. And then the other video is actually just a very quick little intro on how to use the product, right? Like how to actually apply it. Um, and that's Amber giving a little overview. Yeah, and if, if you are okay with doing a little video yourself, mm -hmm. again, your clients Even or your network to see you. So maybe in the morning you wake up and you record a video just talking about how you use the product. Now, I like to just put a little bit on my fingertips and after I cleanse and tone my skin, I'm going to apply the needle free in the areas where I need it the most, where I see you know, a little bit of where I need some tightening, where I have some fine lines and wrinkles, right? So I'll work it in those areas first, and then I'll work it in the rest of my face. I'm going to let that absorb, and then I'm going to follow up with my moisturizer or, or, you know, any other products that you use and just show them how to use it, right? And they're going to be more apt to try it. They're going to be like, okay, cool. All I do is rip open the packet, apply a little bit. They can use it twice a day that's going to be awesome. But even using it once a day, there's, it's still going to be great. Right. Mm -hmm. So get in the habit of doing that. And if you record that video, you haven't, you can just keep sending the same one out to everybody. But if that like is way over, you know, like, like, oh gosh, I, I don't want to do that. Then use Amber. Mm -hmm. Amber talks about the product and she shows on this model, you know, how to apply it there. So you can, you know, leverage our tools that way as well. Such a great tip. Yeah. So, you know, follow up is so important, right? And I think when I was reading and researching on trial size marketing in general, so it's not for our company and our products, but just in general, um, one statistic I saw from that article was saying it takes at least five continuous follow up efforts after that initial contact before a customer says yes. And I was like, mm -hmm. wow, because don't sometimes we feel like we're burdening people or bothering them or harassing them right when we're following up. So I think, you know, the main point that I want to make is you, you have to do that. And we're, we're used to being marketed too, right? I mean, my gosh, in today's, um, you know, whatever climate, uh, atmosphere, um, we're getting text messages, we're getting emails, we're seeing it on social media and everything's like collaborating against us or for us, however you want to look at it. Right. Um, and after seeing it in so many places and it being in your face, like that's when you're like, okay, I'll go to that event. Okay. I'll buy that product because it's just in your face again and again. And so there's a lot of effectiveness to it when done the right way. Um, and I know, you know, when I reach out to people, I'll just say, 
listen, like I'm just following up. I'm doing my due diligence. Um, I know that I get super busy and consumed and I appreciate when people follow up with me. So I'm just doing my part, you know, let me know. I know life gets busy, whatever. So you can kind of like put a little disclaimer in there. Um, <laughs> right. Exactly. Patricia, I swear I'm not being a stalker. I'm just doing well, my job. Right. And I have to fill you guys in on a little secret here. Are you guys ready for this? Like I, I actually used to feel, I know Chris, Christian says, I feel like I'm harassing people. Follow-up was always a little awkward for me until I started to let them know that, that I was going to be up with them and getting their permission to follow up. Then all of a sudden it wasn't awkward anymore. So if you feel like that, like when you're giving out the sample and you're handing it to them and their hands on it, and your hands still on it, and they're committing to trying it, say, is it okay with you? If I reach out to you, you know, and you let them know how you're going to reach out. Is it okay if I text you to follow up with you to make sure you don't have any questions to see if you've used it to, you know, and then they're like, yeah, that's cool. Then all of a sudden it wasn't awkward anymore. Yeah. Right. And expecting you to follow up. Mm -hmm. So every time I follow up, then I'm always going to tell them I'm going to follow up again. Yeah. So hand it to them. I might text them the next day and say, good morning. I just wanted to remind you that you have your needle free serum. Um, you know, make sure to try it today. And is it okay if I reach out to you tomorrow to see how it went? And, you know, and I'm always going to let them know that I'm going to re reach out to them again. And they appreciate that. They're like, yeah, cool. You know, and then they're expecting it. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so, you know, here's just some ideas on how to kind of follow up if you're new to that process. Once you get going with it, it's kind of like rinse and repeat and it becomes very natural like he's talking about. Um, but maybe specific, ask specific questions, right? Like don't, it's like when your son, your teenage son comes home from school and you're like, how was your day? Ugh fine. You know, it's like, so I ask specific questions. Like, did you have art or PE today? Like, or whatever. Right. Open-ended um, questions. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you know, asking them like, Hey, did you watch the video? I saw through the marketing app that it was sent. Do you have any questions? Um, are, do you feel confident in using it after watching the video? Do you have any questions on how to use the product? Um, and that's when having like little videos, like Lee said, if you record yourself, you're going to know what people need after you do this a few times. And then maybe you can have like in my notepad, I have scripts that I'll just copy and paste in a text message or little videos that I'll resend, like record once and send to multiple people. Right. So this and isn't time consuming. It's pretty, pretty efficient. And Kari has a great one. A great open-ended question is what questions do you have? Mm -hmm. after using it what questions do you have and if mm -hmm. they're like actually none um but most people are going to be like to be like oh my gosh i i realized this or i i experienced this or you know they're going to notice something or tell you their experience but just yeah. have a conversation you yeah. know it depends like if it's a good friend if it's somebody you don't know yet if it's family like the conversation is going to vary depending on you know who it is mm -hmm. Ooh, this is my favorite one. I know. And then ask for the sale, right? Because I know you and I have had conversations about this. Like I was not good at closing the sale. Like you can ask my husband now. I, 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 I think sometimes when we have our own money struggles or our own broke mindset, like when I first started building my motives business, we were not in a good situation financially. And so I was like obsessing over every dollar and it was, I was consumed by it. So I was projecting my broke mindset on other people and thinking, oh my gosh, like, you know, I don't, I personally couldn't purchase this product for myself right now. So how am I expecting somebody else to, but the point is it's not you to judge people and assume that they will or will not. So you just kind of expect the best at all times. Right. And just ask for the sale. And then, you know, don't, let them answer. Right. I think sometimes we make excuses for people. Um, so here's just some ideas on what you can kind of structure that conversation to, to close the sale. You know, do you have any additional questions for me before purchasing? Um, I'm so happy that you're seeing such fast results. I can help you place your order now so that you get it in the mail before your sample runs out. Um, it's incredible how you got such great results from the sample. I'm excited to see your transformation after using it for a month. Cause maybe you planted that seed about the 28, 
um, days of skim. Or simply, how would you like to place your order? You can buy directly from the site, or I'm happy to personally place the order and either deliver it to you or drop ship it to them, depending on, on where they're at. Um, and you know what I love these is they're all assuming the sale. Mm -hmm. And it's all in the posture, right? Yeah. So that these are very different than like, so um, do you think you're going to order it? <laughs> And kind of being unsure, right? Mm -hmm. You want to be like, okay, you've experienced these great results. Like, how can we get this in your hands? Because I've had people, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm running out. And now it's going to take like, you know, how many get it? And they're excited, right? So keep that excitement up. And you can get, I mean, depending on how much they use, I mean, they might be able to get like four uses out of these, you know, depending on how much they're using and if they're, you know, putting it all over their face or on certain areas. Mm. But, you know, just, I always laugh and I'm like, don't worry, I'll drop off another sample so that you have something while you wait. Mm. But maybe have a couple needle free serums on hand too, so they don't have to wait that long. Yes. I, I do that. Yes, for sure. And I think that's also like, you're mentally committing to the result. Like you believe that you're going to get the sale. So you're prepared. Right. And that so, changed my retailing that one little tip there changed my retailing. Like no, no other tip had is mm -hmm. just assuming the sale. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's so important and so key. And sometimes again, it just takes that mind shift. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So now you've closed the sale. You're not done. Now you still have some work to do, right? I think sometimes we're like, yay, and you can celebrate. That's a win that you should celebrate. Um, but then you want to make sure that you follow up after they received their package. And just sometimes we get busy, right? And we throw the package on the dining room table or whatever, and we don't open it for a while. And, or maybe we opened it and then it's sitting on the, you know, whatever. It's just a new habit that we haven't created yet. So making sure that, Yes, they bought it, but the key is you want them to use it to see results, to be happy, then to reorder, give referrals, and maybe try something else, right? So yeah. um, consistency is key. Make sure that you are always kind of putting that out there to them. That's why we love the 28 Days of Skin, because fortunately, this is such a great product that you can expect to see a difference pretty quickly with. Um, but at the end of the day, whether it's, you know, your health and wellness products or skincare, you really want to be consistent and give it at least that month to really expect to see a result. Um, when you're following up as well, like maybe, you know, there's all the, we all have heard these systems like three, five, nine days, how, whatever, everyone has a little bit of a different process. Um, but maybe after they've been using it for nearly a month, you can follow up and say like, Hey, where are you at? I know some people need to reorder it you know, after a month, some people, it may take three months. It depends. Like, are you only using it in areas that you may need it or are you using it everywhere? Um, but remember those statistics we said earlier that 77% of the people who tried your sample are going to want to try another product from that same brand based on that experience, right? So we want to be mindful of that. And we thought it would be fun to sort of like brainstorm what products do you all think, or maybe you've already done this, but what would be a nice compliment? Like if someone's having a great experience with the needle-free serum, what's an additional product that they, that you would think that they would also love to try? And you can let us know in the comments. So two of my personal favorites, these eye gels are like amazing, like so incredible. And I do feel like I see a difference after one use. I have them in my bathroom upstairs. I have them on my nightstand. I have them here in my office because if I wake up and I'm like doing emails in the morning, I'm just like putting them on as a little bit of extra treatment while I'm being productive. Yeah, they are heaven, aren't they? And then the Lumiere de Vie Intensive Moisture Mask is so incredible. So um, these are both great. Um, the pH spray is one of my favorites. That's a great one also. Um, yeah, I have some more happens, right? Because they really like this product. And then they're like, Hey, what else do you have? Do you have something for this? Do you have something for that? And yeah, you want to be ready, right? You want to be like, actually, yes, I think you would love this. And then give your recommendations. Yeah. 
Um, the renewal products are two of my favorite, like that overnight renewal mask is incredible. Like you, I feel like you definitely see, I know Lisa Grant called me right after she used that product for like the first week and was like, oh my gosh, like this product is so incredible. I see such a big difference. Um, and then we've got the hand and body cream because that's like a treatment for your body. Right. So that might be something to bring up SPF and right now that's a BOGO. So you can buy one, get one free with the renewal hand and body cream. Mm -hmm. So great for your clients. Definitely. How about the brush set? You know, that's a great gift or add on, or like, you know, if they're getting the product and to be sanitary, but also just to like feel luxurious, there's a product in here that is, or excuse me, there's a brush in this, this brush set that is specifically for applying treatments. So you could do that. And then what about I see some products in the comments, share your favorite Lumiere Divi products in the comments or any skincare products. We would love to see them. I see the volcanic mask, the gelée, love it. I'm trying to like look at both the <laughs> both chats. All right. So that's the goal, right? Build share of customer and whether, whether, you know, you don't have to sample every product. Like in my office, I have a, a desk that I have um, a skincare kit, like the big one of everything almost. So like I have it all here. So if people come over, like that's specifically for them to try. So I'll let them try whatever. So like whether it's an eye gel or something else, like I'll just pump the SPF in their hand and they're applying it themselves. Or I'll take the scooper with the eye gel and they can get their own out. So not everything is in trial size packets. Um, we're, if not, if we are having a lot of success with the trial size marketing packs, but the more success we have, the more products that we can bring on board. Um, so we do what we can do, right? So all those are great ideas, great products, great ways to build share of customer. Um, but let's just talk a little bit about a financial goal, right? Because at the end of the day, we all are tuning in. You're all here spending time with us because you want to learn how to make more money, right? So let's say that based on that 53% of people will purchase um, the product. So we can expect out of every 10 samples that are distributed, five people are going to purchase the bottle of the needle-free serum. There's 72 BV per bottle. So if you sell five, that's 360 BV. And there's $27.95 of profit based on that unfranchised cost to the suggested retail. So that times five is just about $140. And our goal is duplication, right? So some of you may be brand new and you may not have a team, but many of you I see on do have a team. So what if you got three partners on each side of your organization to do that with you, meaning purchasing the 10 pack, securing five sales as a result, again, with that experience it's going to be like 80% or more of people that are buying, right? So I feel like this is a conservative number, but you can expect to earn a $300 commission check just based on you plus, you know, six other people essentially. So the seven of you doing this very simple thing, purchasing a 10 pack, distributing it to 10 people, securing five sales, right? So you can kind of see the numbers there if you want to look at that, but um, we know 1200 in BV on our left and right is over the first threshold. So that's a $300 check. But in addition, your team is making connections, opening up conversations with people maybe they wouldn't have had a reason to have a conversation with before, especially if you're doing kind of like the social media reach outs or you're just giving yourself a self-directed challenge. And that's giving you a reason to kind of put yourself out there a little bit out of your comfort zone. We also know that many of many people who are currently unfranchised owners were first customers, right? So, um, you know, we should feel really confident about that process. If you're not really, if you feel like you're timid or a little bit insecure on how to approach people from a business standpoint, lead with the product. That's what I do. I'm, I'm a product junkie. I love all our products. They make such a huge difference. So it's very easy and organic for me to kind of share products and, and talk to other people about them, right? No matter what, we're getting positive results all over the place, right? We're getting that quick money from buying at a wholesale, selling at a retail. We are filling our funnel with new people. 
which we could do that one a week that JR says, just get one person a week to evaluate and look at the business plan, right? Um, so make sure you're doing that. And then let's just think outside the box a little bit. I mean, we covered a lot tonight, but we kind of wanted to, in closing, maybe give you guys an opportunity to share anything else that maybe we haven't thought of. Um, but one thing I have worked with um, one of my business partners, um, Dina Hudgens, many of you know her, she's a skincare professional and she has partnered with um, estheticians or even spas who they'll just order 10 quantity 10 of the 10 packs because there's 30 BV per 10 pack. So if you order 10 of them, that's 300 BV. So that's a qualifying order. And then you would pair that with the beauty advisor application. Okay. Cause then they're going to get like a, a sampling of other products um, basically for free just by getting the beauty advisor application. One thing I'll let you go through this week, because I know like doing these 30 faces in 30 days or self-directed challenge was like change your business for you. Yeah, when I started to really focus on keeping track of what I was doing, I was amazed at not only what I was doing, but I did a lot more. So we do have a 30 faces for um, in 30 days tracker document on unfranchised.com. What I want you guys to challenge yourself to do is um, challenge like yourself. How many will you give out a month? Is it 10? Is it 20? Is it 30? And then commit to doing that and then start keeping track. You'd be surprised what comes out of it. And you can put the date, the client's name, their email, how much they ended up purchasing. And it's really eye opening. So if you're like me where you want to track your success, I encourage you to do this. It's so key. And even when you're giving out the samples, make sure that, you know, putting them in the app is important, right? Registering them as a customer is important on your back office. Um, but I go a step further and I like to use the tracking sheet because sometimes it's like, oh, I physically gave them this person one and then I added it to this person's order. And then like, sometimes I'm just like all over the place. So I really, really highly, highly encourage you to just download the 30 faces in 30 days tracking sheet on your back office. You can just type it in the search bar and it'll come up as a resource. Um, but then write the, you know, the date and the client name and their email. Maybe they didn't purchase yet. That's okay. You might just kind of make a note that they tried a sample, right? Um, then audit, adding to their, oh my gosh, Lisa, adding to your auto ship is a great idea, right? Um, so this way you're committing to yourself that every month you're going to hand out 10 more packs. And when Lee and I were preparing for this, we're like, honestly, you can build a whole business just doing this. And that's it. You know, I know a lot of people feel very overwhelmed with the products, all the products we have, all the divisions we have, all the technology we have. So it's like, if you're new or you just want to kind of skinny it down and focus on one thing that you can expect to see great results from, I would just do this, you know? Um, and in closing, we invite you to go for the skincare challenge. Um, we have the trial size marketing as part of the skincare challenge, but this is a fairly new um, one that we launched. Me, I think in the beginning of 2020 was um, the first year that we launched a skincare challenge, which is separate um, and different than the motives challenge. And so we know that this is a division where people can really grow and thrive and live in this space. We have the most amazing skincare market you can find in the marketplace. And certainly this is one of the best products that I've ever come across. Um, and so I wanna just kind of really plant that seed. If you download the challenge, you can print it out and it's easier to sort of track as you go than wait till the last minute right before a world conference and then try to backtrack. So, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to really finish our year strong. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunity. I know the holidays are among us, but it, the world doesn't stop. People don't stop working. People don't stop washing their face or wanting to look and feel better, right? If anything, the holiday season is a great time to want to look and feel your best because you're seeing people and you're having experiences that you really may only do have or see or do once per year. 
And we know that this product is going to give an immediate fix. So it's going to kind of give us an immediate boost, right? Um, so do that. And it's going to set you up for success propelling into 2022. Um, and then attending world conference, just feeling so proud of yourself for, you know, adding new customers, getting extra cash flow into your business, and hopefully having some additional prospects or partners with you as a result. So um, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, we hope that you found this helpful. Uh, the one last thing, and I think Lee mentioned it already, but um, make sure that you're uh, staying in the atmosphere, sharing your success, and, and we can give you ongoing support if you add yourself to our uh, skincare Facebook page. So I'm just gonna type that in the chat and Lee, I'll let you kind of close out anything that you'd like to. Yeah, so you guys like don't wait make sure you order your pack of 10 so that you have them and you can take immediate action on everything you learned tonight and keep on sharing. Like if, if you have a tip that we didn't share, we want to hear it from you, share it with everybody so that we can all, you know, learn from each other and uh, can't wait to see you all go for the challenge. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Have a great night. Happy holidays, everyone.